So today Nina's coming over. We're gonna make her schiatol, which is like an escarole, and it's so delicious. So I'm setting up to make our schiatol, okay, which is escarole. And Nina's coming by and she makes the best schiatol. Okay, and this is her recipe, so I gotta do it right. Cause she's a serious cook. So I put a little bit of olive oil in the pan and I'm gonna press three cloves of garlic in. So I got three cloves of garlic in there and I'm gonna put a little bit of red pepper flakes in there. Not too much, just enough. And what I'm doing here is I'm just letting the garlic and, and the red peppers just warm up together real slowly so that they really intensify with that flavor. It's gonna be really, really good here. All right, next we got our schiatol, all right, which is escarole. And I'm just gonna tear it up a little bit, throw it into a bowl here. I keep saying schiatol, it's escarole, but you know, we call it schiatol in my house. And I'm gonna throw in my schiatol. Oh man, that sizzle sounds good. All right. This looks like a huge amount, but it's gonna cook down just like spinach would. So don't worry about it. Oh. Next, to comfy your schiatol, I got some beautiful, beautiful petite fillets. And I got these beautiful, beautiful fillets here. And what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna salt, pepper. It's a beef tenderloin, it takes minutes to cook, it's so easy, it's so delicious. I'm just gonna give it a flip here. All right. I mean, this is like butter. It melts in your mouth, it's so simple. It doesn't need all the, you know, all the spices, all the flavors. This is all about what a great cut of meat it is. And I'm gonna put a little bit of that olive oil on it. And I preheat my grill here. And I'll let that baby go. Oh, does that sound good? And I mean, this is gonna cook so easily. Now I'm gonna come back over to my schiatol over here and I'm gonna put a little bit of salt and a little pepper in there. All right. Now I got about four plump tomatoes here, which I'm just gonna break with a fork a little bit here. All right. I'm gonna pour this in here. I mean, it's mostly tomato. I didn't add the juice from the can because I want to get all that beautiful juice from the schiatol and you want to get all those flavors together. It's going to be so pretty. It's really nice. Oh, does that look good? I'm going to okay. give you a little bit of schiatol here. Okay, I put a filo mignola fio. Fio? Now, Nina, this is your recipe. You got to tell me if I did it right, okay? Looks good. And I know you know how to cook, so, <laughs> you know, you got to tell me how I did. I cannot okay, I wait will. to taste your schiatol. Schiatol? It's Go so ahead. good. I taste your filo mignon. First? All right. Oh, just the way I like it, medium rare. Mm -hmm. Oh, so good. I mean, it just, that little bit of tomato just does so much. Mm, um, it's nice and tender, it's good. Ah, it's it's got a perfect flavor, the schkarol is cooked perfect. I love schkarol, you gotta try making it. Mm. You get a little bit of the garlic wow. in there, it's really good. I did all right, because I know you're a good cook, I don't wanna. Very good, buddy, mm, mm. tastes good. And it complements the filet so nice because this is such a tender, delicious cut delicious. of meat, right? Delicious, the filet, the filet butter. Ah, oh, perfect. 